Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the last part in my Zodiac series. And if you don't know what this is, if you haven't seen any other any of the other episodes, I will leave my first episode up here where I talk a little bit more about what this is. But today we are at the final shade in this palette and I never thought we was going to get this far because me and starting a new series is pretty good. And me at finishing my series, not that good. So for the last shade of this year and the last sign is Sagittarius. I hope it's pronounced like that. And the Swedish name for that is Skitten. Skitten. And my boyfriend is this sign. Somebody wondering. So this is a purple one and it's a matte one and I think we just get started with the Sagittarius look. And I actually want to go in with another shade from this palette and I want to go in with Libra, this one, and put it in my crease. And I actually am pretty sure about what I want to do. So I go in with this Libra in my shade. In my shade in my crease. The Libra shade in my crease. How can it be so hard? And it feels so good to like be done with this area. Even though I have liked to do it. Even though I have liked to do it. It has been fun to have at least one video a month that I like and know what I want to do and it feels fun to use a palette more than I usually use a palette so that has been fun even though this is not one of my favorite palettes but it has been fun and I am actually a little proud that I have done this out this year and I don't know what I will do next year. I have some ideas um, because I feel that I want to do a Syria next year as well. Uh, maybe not with a palette. I know that I can take like any 12 pen palette but I don't know. We will see if it comes in a new series next year. Maybe not, maybe it will, or maybe I should try to do some that I have started but not finished because there is more than one. And I am also planning on doing a palette bingo with this palette. Maybe in the end of this year or in January. I have not decided yet, but I want to do the palette thing with this. Okay, and now it's time for the shade of the month, Sagittarius. I put it, I'm going to put it all over my lid to start with and I am a little bit afraid because this is purple and if you have seen, okay, it wasn't that bad, if you have seen the other videos in the Zodiac series, some of the shades in this palette isn't the best. And some are really, really, really good. But some of them are not that good. And it's going to be fun to do a palette bingo with this. And not only use like one shade in this palette. Maybe I have no luck and it's like becoming the worst palette. Bingo ever. I hope not though, but you never know. Maybe just like this. This wasn't that hard to work with. You never know with purple because purple can be pretty bad. Pretty good, but I think that this is pretty good. And now I want to go in with black because I want to do like a smoky purple eye. So I'm going in with the Infinity Deep by Linda Holberg and take Fornax. 
and this is in the infinite palette as well but the infinite palette I have it not here um, so I'm taking the infinite deep and this is like one of my favorite blacks I have talked about this shade a lot on my channel but it's not this video is not about Linda Holberg, so I'm just going to say that this is a really good black. Pick this up in my crease and a little bit over the purple. And I know that some of you want me to do more purple, purple looks, but I'm just not like... I don't like purple that much. So I thought if I do a black and purple eye, maybe I will like be okay with it. Maybe that is the first step to start to like purple. If I do a smoky eye. And these blended together pretty good. And I have always been afraid of doing like smoky eyes before. Even before I started with color, I was more afraid of smoky eye than colorful eye, but the more I did colorful eye looks, I became more and more like self-confident when it comes to makeup and now this doesn't feel hard, it doesn't feel like I don't know. It's just feels better. Maybe I have better makeup skills now than I had like a year ago. And maybe that is or maybe I just don't care as much anymore. I don't know. But I am happy. So many things. <laughs> I am happy that I feel more confident when it comes to makeup and doesn't I'm not that afraid of anything except maybe a little bit for purple. Plur purple. Purple. I am so tired today. It is Monday when I'm filming this and hopefully this will come up on Wednesday. And today has been a pretty stressful work day. I did work one hour extra and I am a little bit tired and I didn't sleep well. Okay, so I think this may will do, this has to do. So I will take away the fallout, fix my base and fix my brows a little bit. I have had them on for how many hours can it be now? 13 hours maybe, so that's why they look a little bit like that. So I will fix my base and fix my brows a little bit and then I come back and we finish off this last look in the Zodiac palette. But I'm doing a palette bingo as well so not the last but the last monthly look with the Zodiac palette. Okay time for the under eyes and I will start with this shade um, and put it the whole way and then I think I just want to win with the black like out here but I don't want black the whole way underneath my eyes and then I just go in with the black just out here and okay for my wash line I actually think I will go in with crybaby I have some like darker purple or like purple purple but I think I want to go in with crybaby just to maybe open up the eyes a little bit okay so I will just try to find a lipstick for this and then I come back with the complete finished look so this is the finished look for my lips I used Tasia, I think it's pronounced. So this is the last Zodiac, the last part in my Zodiac series. I think maybe the palette bingo I will do will be part 13. Haven't decided yet so 
Now I have done one look with all of these. And I am actually thinking of doing the palette bingo and do a review in that palette bingo. Because now I have used all the shades and I have some opinions about them. And I have some opinions about the whole palette. And I think I will finish this video here and end this video here and then do maybe a longer palette bingo with my review in I don't know and maybe swatches as well if you want to see it so yeah I really hope you like this video and I really hope that you've liked this series it has been somewhat fun to do it some months pretty hard and I have done at least one look with this palette that I love so so much. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I really hope you like the series. If you have any suggestions on what I should do for a series next year, I have some little ideas but I have nothing like I want to do this and I'm going to do that. I have nothing like that yet but if you have some ideas please share them with me and I will see if I will do it or maybe get inspiration from it. So yeah, I really hope you like this series and I really hope you like this video and that you like this look. And for all of you that want me to do more purple... Pur Why do I have such a hard time to say purple? Here you go. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!